So today we're gonna work on a mid-range gut wrench. So to be clear, there are gut wrenches you can do where your hands are like high, a high gut. And if you wanna learn a high gut, Kendall Cross, Olympic champion, has one of the best high guts of all time. There are gut wrenches that are more like low guts, which are around the guy's hip bone, where people lock in their hip bones. But today we're gonna work on this mid-range gut. And so the mid-range gut, I like to go left. Clearly you can go both sides, but just to focus on left right now. When I go left, I want my hands locked right here on this left side, right where his ribs start going into his stomach. That's where my lock wanna be. So I'm going left, I want my lock on the left. The way I get a tight lock is I'm gonna punch my right arm deep and across in that mid-range area. My hand opens up like a letter C, and then my left arm is gonna come and just fit nicely right into that, punch right into that, so it fits. And then I wanna X-lock my hands, kind of butterfly lock my hands there. And I'm gonna search for that sweet spot to make sure my lock is right there in that rib cage going into the stomach, just like that. So we talked about what the lock looks like, the, the sweet spot where it needs to be in, but now it's important to learn how to establish the lock. How am I gonna get my hands locked? There's a lot of different ways, but I wanna focus on my favorite way, which was to lift the guy off the mat and punch my arm deep to establish that lock. So the way that I did that, again, I'm teaching from the left side. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right knee and I'm gonna stick it right here near his hip bone. So it's almost like a shovel that's about to go underneath this mound of dirt, which are his hips. So I stick that knee there, and then I'm gonna use that knee as a ramp to pull him up. My left arm comes underneath his throat to his armpit to create that hook. And once I create that hook, my right hand, I can use it like push-up position. I'm gonna push up and pull. And notice how he comes off the mat. Now I'm gonna punch this right arm deep, just like we showed before. See my letter C right here? Now my left hand, again, it's gonna punch to that sweet spot and I can start the turn from here. It's very common for people to ask me this question, is that if I put my knee underneath here and I lift the guy, what if I go here? What if this guy, what I kind of call like a fat man roll, he grabs my arm and just rolls me to the right right here? One of the wrestlers I used to coach, Kyle Snyder, that was his very first question to me. So I think it's important to talk about that. When I put this knee here and I lift him, as I do this, I want to make sure I keep my hips low. I'm sitting on my hip. If I start over exaggerating to the side, he can roll me. So I keep my hips low to the mat when I lift so he can't roll me. And notice, I think the camera can see this. Notice how my right hand is touching my right knee. If my right hand is touching my right knee, he's not gonna roll me through from right here. And I feel like I have a good tight lock coming. Again, left hand, letter C, punches inside, and then I can establish my lock. Really important. A lot of guys, they get their hands locked like this or like this, and they think they're squeezing hard, that doesn't create a tight lock. So when I go here, let her see, punch, <coughs> X lock, watch my arms. To tighten this up, I'm gonna go elbows together, and then I pull that lock into my rib cage. And by elbows together, pulling into my rib cage, notice how small that circle is now. That's how you really tighten up a lock.